Hi and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. And today I'm going to show you how to do this custom uh, title here that includes a graphic. Take another quick look at that there so you can see what it looks like right there. Uh, it's going to just be some text, a uh, background, and a company logo there. So stay right there and we'll be right back and I'll show you how to do this. Hey folks, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build this custom logo uh, or this custom title here that's gonna go on this video. So I already have it here, but I'm gonna go through all the, the steps to create that. So I'm gonna start off here with, I'm gonna go to the generators, go to a solid color and drop a solid color on here. And it's black at the moment, so I'm just gonna select a shade of blue here. I think I'm actually going to lighten it up a little bit from what I had. All right. Well, that's not really what we want, right? So you can start off by zooming it down and then we can unlock the zoom factor. So now I can get it into more of the shape that I want. I'm going to position it off right on the edge there, and then bring it down into the lower thirds. Okay, so far so good. So now I've got the bar. Let's bring in a graphic, and what I have is this transparent PNG. I'm gonna drop that into place, and of course that's way too big. So we're gonna scale that down, and I'll move that into position. And get that guy where I want it right there and I'll scale it back up just a hair and reposition it all right now I'm going to add some regular text to it so I'll take some text drop it over and this is going to be the GPC DJI Ronin S balanced Travel case. Uh, just use a standard font here. Probably make it bold. Now we need to size it down to fit. Let's adjust the line spacing to fit in there well. And now we can position it. And little, well, a little too big there. Let's see what we can do before we gets a little too much and slide it over all right well let's make that uh, that bar a little bigger right so as long as we have it unlocked here I'll just stretch it out to fit okay now if we go back and watch the first one here it slides in from the left and then slides back out well, we can do that uh, right now, but we would have to keyframe all three of these things. That's kind of a little pain in the butt. So the simpler way, I'm going to take all these, select them, right click, and say new compound clip. Now it's gonna combine them all into one clip that we can work with. Well, don't have a, a see-through background anymore, but that's gonna be easy. I'm just going to drop over into Fusion real quick and shift space. And we're going to use the Luma key. And actually, that might look pretty good right there. You can see I've got a little bit of transparency back here. I think that would work. If I pull the high side down, it's going to make it more solid. You see that? So I can see the background, or it's very solid. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of transparency to it. I think that's gonna look better than it being solid. If I pull the left side, the low side, it's gonna get rid of that background easier. So it just, because that white is so luminous. So I'm gonna leave that on the low side up there, but I think I'm gonna play with this high side and have just a little bit of transparency. So let's see what that looks like. You know what, I think I like that a lot better than 
um, my original. Let's see that one. It was all solid. This one has a little transparency to it. I think I like that. Now we need to add our animation to it. So we want it to, oh, back here again, it's going to slide in from the left, hold, and then slide back out to the left. So I'm going to go to the first frame, make sure I'm on the first frame there, go to my inspector. We're going to make sure we're on the first frame, and I'm going to slide this out of frame. So I just want it out of frame right there. Okay, we're at negative 1134. We're going to remember that. Okay, now I'm going to go 20 frames in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And set the position at 0. Now, I didn't have to set another keyframe because I did one on the first frame. So now every time I add one or I make a change, it's going to add a keyframe. So now we have it sliding in from the left. Okay, now I'm going to go to the end, go to the last frame there, and I'm going to go back 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, and I'm going to set a keyframe there. Because I'm not making a change, I want it to stay where it's been throughout that scene, right? So we started on the left or outside of the frame, we moved into the frame, we have a keyframe. Now I need to have a keyframe where I want to start the animation out. So now I'm going to go to the last frame. And do you remember what we had here at the beginning? Negative 1134. I'm going to go to the last frame and set that to negative 1134. All right. Now it's going to slide in, hold for a little bit and then slide out. So let's see what this looks like. Very cool. So what of all we learned here, uh, how to use a generator for the solid color to create the bar. We've added text to it. We added a transparent PNG so that we can use a company logo put them together as a compound clip so that we can animate everything, put that into Fusion to get rid of the black when we created the compound clip, and then we did our keyframe animation. So a handful of little techniques here that I think will help you in other projects that you're working on. I'd love to see some of the titles that you guys are working on. If you've done something pretty cool, post it in the comments below so we can see what you've been doing and how you're progressing. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate all you guys, all you subscribers. The channel's growing really fast. We're going to have some cool giveaways coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified whenever there's a new video. Thanks everybody for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.